everyone this is Samarth and I'm going to teach you some methods of selection in Photoshop and some of the stuff you can do with that selection in the later stages so let's directly go towards it the basically two kinds of selections in Photoshop there are more but I'm just teaching you right now two selections and that's the quick select tool and the other is magic wand tool you can browse through these tools by clicking on the quick select icon then right clicking it and choosing the magic wand or by pressing W should work it's not working but yeah W is the short key for it so anyhow the quick select tool basically selects the edges in the back it demarcates a selection area by choosing the nearest edge from it as you can see when I move the quick select tool it's starting to select the edges that it's finding the closest and that's how it selects and there are two options associated with that one is the plus and the minus the plus basically adds to your selection and minus obviously subtracts from the selection so that comes in handy if you selected a major part of the area and you don't want it to be selected so you can just subtract your selection and be happy with that the other selection tool in photoshop is the magic wand the magic wand basically second the magic wand basically selects similar pixels in the back so if i want to select the area when which is red in color i just click this and it's selecting this area and if i want to select the black select this white selects this basically it's selecting similar pixels in the back so that's a map both of these tools are pretty handy and pretty much useful in times of need and in this tutorial I'm basically stressing upon the quick select tool so we can just learn something handy and I've taken the sample picture from Google from Aston Martin and in this I'm going to teach you how to make a certain selected area of a picture black and white and the other area white in this not white but the original color as in this picture the Aston Martin would retain its white yellow number plates and the rest of the area would go black and white so let's see how it how it's achieved first of all select the quick selection tool add your plus area towards it and keep your size relatively smaller because sometimes it leads to a problem it selects uncertain areas which you don't want or it's difficult to remove them so it's better to work with precision and precision I guess a small brush size would give you high precision so we'll start selecting the back and as you can see it's selecting the it's magnetically the edges are attracting the quick select tool and it's getting selected so all the edges are covered in that and same thing for this area again it's selected same thing with this and this so as I can see most of my Aston Martin has been selected but I want to remove some areas because I don't want them to change I want my Aston Martin to be detained I hope it's my Aston Martin yeah so I'll select the, the subtract area this time I'll subtract the areas which I don't want at times it can get pretty confusing which area to add and which area to subtract but you'll get the hang of it as you work towards it and I'm subtracting this area and I don't want my wheel to be in the selection so I'll subtract my wheel also from the selection and here we go yeah the wheels are pretty much subtracted you won't see this area because it's as, as it is black I don't need this but I'll be needing a little bit more precision on this so let's unselect this yeah I want my silencer to be retained oops I want this to be retained so yeah this is pretty much coming just a second this is a little dicey work over here but we'll get through it no issues with this the smaller the brush size the higher precision you get and the easier it is to unselect tools so 
actually I don't need to do this because as it is black and you won't see much in the pick and just drag this area and add this much into it yeah it's pretty good this is good I need to join these areas yeah that's done I don't need to worry about this as it's already black I want to do it It's, it can't be seen. Yeah, it's done. This thing. So, this is it. Aston Martin is selected. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Which is fine, and I don't need to worry about this antenna as it's already black. Now, the next thing you do is fit on screen and adjustments, image adjustments, and black and white or you can choose the shortcut all shift control this be choose black and white and there will be different presets associated with that generally my work is done with the default presets but if you want to do things manually you free to do be sure you don't ruin the pixels in the pack because that look pretty shitty so choose the default preset or just browse the various presets and choose the one that suits you the best in this case I'll just browse I like the maximum black filter so yeah, I choose that and let's see how it goes so yeah and this is pretty useful when you want to make people focus on your main subject and in this I don't want to look at the hills I want to look at my Aston Martin so the viewer just directly sees the Aston Martin and it won't, he won't look the background of it and that makes a picture quite attractive and it's quite handy if you're shooting models or some interesting subject and we'll see the difference right now okay. yeah this was the original pick and this is the result you get and I guess this is a much better pick than the previous one so yeah that's pretty much about it I hope you learned so summing it up I taught you two kinds of selection in Photoshop quick select and the match point the quick select basically selects the edges in a pick and that that's its selection algorithm and the magic point selects the similar pixels in a pick so that's that thank you i hope you enjoyed it